Told through the pages of a diary, Sue Townsend's young adult novel The Secret Diary of Adrian Mull, aged 13 and three quarters, 1982, follows the life and challenges of the titular British boy. Adrian, who fancies himself an intellectual, often misinterprets the world around him. The story begins on January 1st, with Adrian jotting down his New Year's resolutions and lamenting his father George's drunken antics at the previous night's party. Suspecting his parents might have a drinking problem, Adrian has a bleak outlook on his home life. After the eventful party, both of Adrian's parents fall ill. In an attempt to be helpful, Adrian prepares meals for them, but they refuse to eat his food, leaving him puzzled. Adrian is also involved in a school group that assists elderly individuals, and he is assigned to help an 89-year-old man named Bert. Amidst these adventures, Adrian shares the misadventures of the family dog, which frequently escapes and causes trouble. He attributes his acne to his parents and the lack of vitamins in his diet. Inspired by an intellectual he sees on television, Malcolm Muggeridge, Adrian decides to join the library, believing himself to be an intellectual as well. He starts exploring poetry and considers his work to be incredibly profound. At school, Adrian encounters Pandora and begins to suspect that he might be falling in love with her. Desperate to discuss his feelings with his parents, Adrian finds them too preoccupied with their own arguments, primarily stemming from the attention Pauline, Adrian's mother, receives from Mr. Lucas. Mr. Lucas frequently visits their home to perform chores and other tasks. Eventually, Pauline takes a job at Mr. Lucas's office, adopts a different style of dressing, and neglects her household duties. Pauline explains to Adrian that sometimes marriage can feel like a prison for women, but he struggles to comprehend this idea, as his mother and other wives he knows seem free to come and go as they please. Adrian Mull's diary continues to chronicle his eventful life. He stumbles upon Mr. Lucas reading a pornographic magazine and debates whether he should inform his mother about it. In a curious turn of events, Adrian decides to read the same magazine himself, justifying it as an activity suitable for intellectuals. His concern over his acne grows, and when his mother fails to address it, he reaches out to his grandmother, who takes him to see a doctor. Adrian and Pandora officially become a couple, enjoying their newfound romance. As April Fool's Day approaches, Adrian takes pleasure in playing pranks on others, but finds himself less amused when pranks are played on him. On his 14th birthday, his mother and Mr. Lucas gift him money, but Adrian is disheartened when he realizes he has to use some of it to buy groceries and assist his father with household chores. His unhappiness deepens as George becomes involved with Doreen and her son, Maxwell, entering Adrian's life. Financial difficulties worsen, leading to a power outage in their home. Adrian finds solace only at his grandmother's house. Despite Pauline announcing her return, Adrian knows it is only a visit, while George hastily ends his affair with Doreen, hoping for a reconciliation with Pauline. George eventually faces a formal layoff, and Doreen becomes a regular presence in their lives, caring for George during this challenging time. Surprisingly, Adrian begins to warm up to her. In an act of rebellion, Adrian wears red socks to school, which results in a lecture. He is later diagnosed with tonsillitis and must undergo a tonsillectomy. The Singh family moves in next door, and George displays racist attitudes towards them. However, Adrian and Pandora embrace the new neighbors warmly. As the school year comes to an end, Pandora goes on vacation with her family, leaving Adrian feeling despondent. He channels his emotions into writing more poetry. Adrian introduces Bert to the Singh family, and Bert eventually moves in with them. However, when Mr. Singh returns to his home country, he decides to evict Bert out of concern for leaving him alone with the women, much to Bert's delight. The diary captures these various encounters and experiences in Adrian's unique perspective. Adrian and Pandora return from their vacation and decide to clean up Bert's original home. Adrian starts corresponding with an American boy but struggles to understand the slang used in the boy's letters. His acne worsens, leading him to believe that Pandora is losing interest in him. In an attempt to reignite their romance, Adrian suggests they go on a survival hike together. Meanwhile, Bert is admitted to an old folks' home, and Adrian and Pandora gradually stop visiting him due to the melancholy atmosphere. Pandora reveals to Adrian that she no longer wants to marry him when they turn 16, as she intends to pursue higher education instead. 
In an effort to impress her, Adrian submits a poem to the BBC, but it gets rejected. Adrian and Pandora collaborate on launching a literary magazine at school. Adrian writes an expose about a classmate named Barry Kent, hoping for a significant response, but it goes unnoticed by most. Adrian then enters into a relationship with Barbara, but it quickly ends when Barbara realizes her friendship with Pandora complicates matters. Adrian's mother returns home, bringing some changes to their dynamic. Bert, on the other hand, finds companionship in a woman at the old folks' home and eventually gets married. As the new year begins, Adrian creates a list of resolutions that are more practical, questioning his own intellectual abilities. During an incident involving model glue, Adrian has an accident and ends up in the hospital. He reaches out to Pandora, who forgives him. While waiting for her visit, Adrian realizes that the only thing that can save him is love. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.